Hi, my name's John Tisbury, and in this video we're going to have a look at what's in my camera bag when I go out on location or an outdoor shoot. So let's get to it and roll the intro. So we're going to look at my camera bag that I take out with me when I'm out on location or when I'm shooting outside. It's a, a low pro magnum or weather bag. Had it for hmm, donkey's years, for about 10 years. It's a really, really good bag, uh, professional sort of series. It didn't pay for itself. It's rugged. Yeah, it's been through some abuse basically over the, over the years. I like it because um, A, I say it's rugged, it's very well made, but it also being all weather, it has a, a zip at the back here and you've got a complete little overcoat for it or rain mac for it which you can pull across if the weather gets really bad and you've got to hike out from somewhere where you're photographing so it protects your gear basically uh, i've also got a similar one for my camera um, a little camera mac uh, my wife maybe this and this is made from ripstock nylon and it allows me just to pop it over the camera and just to protect it again if i'm out all day Although the camera is weather sealed and as are all the lenses, it's nice to know that you're not going to worry about them and they've actually protected. Inside the bag, let's have a look in there. Let's run through the lenses. They're all Nikkor lenses. So I've got a 50mm uh, 1.4, which is a silent wave, great for portraits, really getting a narrow depth of field with that 1.4, super, super diffused highlights on there. A really, really nice lens. What else have I got in here? Uh, if I need to do some really close up work, I've got a 105 macro lens, 2.8 again, a very old style lens, all metal and very heavy. Produces a very, very nice image. If I need to go wide, I can. I have a, a 14 to 24. So I'm having trouble getting the dust cap off the cover. It's got a massive piece of glass at the front there. And uh, again, 2.8. So a 14 to 24 silent wave lens there. In the middle of the lenses, which is the one currently on the camera, I have a 24 to 70, 2.8, which that gives me so 14 to 24, then got 24 to 70. And then from there on, I've got 70 to 200. Uh, again, 2.8 uh, Nikkor lens. Really, really nice lens, this. It comes with a tripod mount as well. So you can just clip this little mount on there and mounting it that way with a camera behind it. The weight is nicely balanced in the, in the center rather than trying to put all the weight on the back of the camera with a tripod mount. The camera itself, it's a, a Nikon, it's a D3. Uh, it's a bit long in the tooth in terms of a, a camera, but still works really, really well and very happy with it. At some point, we'll need to upgrade it. I have a times two converter as well, so it converts my 200 into a 400. In the zippy bags and pockets, I've got have a cleaning cloth for lenses, spare battery for the camera, memory cards kicking in there all nicely in bed in their little boxes, little compartments. What else have we got? Uh, little wrenches, little plastic wrenches for getting off those tough um, skylight filters and um, ND filters, a screw on type, sometimes gets stuck on the lenses. And there, little screwdriver, that's from the Lee filter kit, which we'll see later. Another bag, oh there's a, a lens, uh, sorry, a dust cap for the body, body cap. Oh, got 50 pence and 50 cents. Uh, so I use those for tightening up the, the nut, the slotted um, screw on the bottom of a tripod. A quick release plate, that's what those are there for. In the side pockets, what else have we got? Oh yes, I have a, a 90 degree angle finder. 
So I'm doing macro shots really low down on the floor. It's very difficult to see through the viewfinder on my particular camera. So I can stick on this 90 degree angle finder and it makes it a lot more comfortable for framing, composition and focus. I have a little case with, let's kind of get on. There we go. A little case with business cards in. In case I need to give one of those out. On the other side, the side pocket, I have a cable remote release trigger. And some plastic bags for various things. And I've also got a larger bag which folds out, which I can kneel on if I'm in damp ground or muddy ground, messy ground. And that's it. So that's the, the key things I take out in my camera bag. It's a shoulder strap bag. Um, it gets fairly heavy. I also have a, a rucksack bag as well. We'll go through that in another video. I take out different things in that. Uh, so we'll have a wander through that at another time. The other thing I'll take out is my tripod. It's a Gitzo Carbon 3 section tripod. I like it because it's basically the same height as me so if I'm doing landscapes or whatever I need to do where I need to mount the camera on a tripod I can comfortably get there without having to stoop down um, to, to get stuff. It's got a Manfrotto head on it which is a three-way and I like this particular one because you can loosen the, the lock nut here to be able to change the angle whichever one you want but then you can also do micro adjustments or finer adjustments on the thumb screws. So it gives you a very much a flexible approach to framing and composition. So that's me. They're all my bits that I take with me. Hope you found that useful. Um, if you have, then please consider subscribing. There's a click down below, the button down below, click on that. And I'll see you on the next one. All right, take care. Bye. <laughs>